Diabetes can silently impair kidney function, often going unnoticed until significant damage occurs. Recognizing early signs of kidney failure is crucial for managing your health and preventing further complications. In this guide, we'll explore the subtle yet critical clues that indicate your kidneys may be struggling. Understanding these signs can empower you to seek timely medical intervention and maintain your quality of life with diabetes. Number 1. Cooler than normal skin. Cooler than normal skin in individuals with diabetic kidney failure can be a manifestation of poor circulation and anemia, a common complication when the kidneys are unable to produce sufficient amounts of erythropoietin. This hormone is crucial for the production of red blood cells, which carry oxygen throughout the body. Reduced oxygen delivery can make the skin feel cooler to the touch. Managing this symptom involves addressing its root causes, improving blood flow, and treating anemia. This may include controlling blood sugar levels to prevent further kidney damage, managing blood pressure, and possibly using erythropoietin supplements or iron therapy to increase red blood cell production. Regular moderate exercise can also improve circulation. Tailored approach to treatment, ensuring both the management of diabetes and the preservation of kidney function is a healthy choice. Number 2. Muscle Cramps As we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. Muscle cramps and diabetic kidney failure often result from electrolyte imbalances, particularly of calcium and potassium, which are crucial for muscle function. These imbalances occur as the kidneys lose their ability to maintain the body's mineral balance due to the damage caused by high blood sugar levels. Managing muscle cramps involves closely monitoring and controlling blood sugar to slow the progression of kidney damage. Dietary adjustments to ensure a balanced intake of electrolytes, under the guidance of a healthcare professional, can help correct imbalances. Additionally, staying hydrated and engaging in regular, gentle exercise can improve circulation and muscle health. In some cases, supplements may be prescribed to address specific deficiencies. Regular check helps in appropriate management and to adjust treatment plans as needed to mitigate muscle cramps effectively. Number 3. Changes in Urination Changes in urination are key indicators of diabetic kidney failure, signaling the kidney's impaired ability to filter and manage waste and fluids. Individuals might experience increased frequency especially at night, nocturia, urgency, a decrease in output, or the presence of protein in the urine, proteinuria, which is particularly significant for diabetes. Managing these changes involves tight glucose control to reduce the strain on the kidneys and slow the progression of damage. Blood pressure management, often with ACE inhibitors or ARBs, can also protect kidney function by reducing proteinuria. Regular monitoring of kidney health through tests for kidney function and urine protein levels is crucial. Lifestyle modifications, including dietary changes and maintaining a healthy weight, play a critical role essentially for effectively managing these symptoms and preserving kidney health. Number 4. Skin Rash or Itching Skin rash and itching in diabetic kidney failure are often indicative of a high concentration of waste products in the blood, a condition known as uremia. As the kidney's ability to filter and eliminate these toxins decreases, they can accumulate, causing severe irritation and discomfort to the skin. Managing this symptom involves meticulous blood sugar control to slow the progression of kidney damage and reduce toxin buildup. Regular use of moisturizers can alleviate skin dryness and itching, while avoiding harsh soaps and hot showers can prevent further skin irritation. Healthcare providers may prescribe medications to help manage itching directly. Additionally, dietary adjustments to limit foods high in phosphorus and potassium can be beneficial to manage kidney function and alleviate skin symptoms effectively. Number 5. Cognitive Difficulties Cognitive difficulties in the context of diabetic kidney failure can stem from various factors, including the accumulation of toxins in the blood due to reduced kidney function and the potential for fluctuating blood glucose levels, which can directly impact brain function. These cognitive challenges may manifest as confusion, trouble concentrating, or memory lapses. 
Managing these symptoms involves strict blood sugar control to prevent spikes and dips that can affect cognitive function. Additionally, maintaining optimal kidney health through diet, medication, and possibly dialysis to remove toxins can help alleviate cognitive symptoms. Regular physical activity and mental exercises can also support brain health. Importantly, ongoing monitoring by healthcare professionals is crucial to adjust treatment plans as needed and address both diabetes and kidney health comprehensively, helping to mitigate cognitive difficulties. Number 6. Metallic Taste in the Mouth A metallic taste in the mouth, often described by patients with diabetic kidney failure, can be a result of the accumulation of toxins and waste products in the blood that the kidneys are unable to filter out due to impaired function. This symptom is indicative of uremia, where high levels of urea and other waste products are present in the bloodstream. Managing this unpleasant symptom involves meticulous control of blood sugar levels to slow the progression of kidney damage. Dietary modifications to reduce intake of foods high in potassium and phosphorus can also help. Ensuring adequate hydration and maintaining oral hygiene can alleviate the metallic taste, including potential adjustments in treatment to better manage kidney function and reduce toxin levels in the body. Number 7. Nausea and Vomiting Nausea and vomiting in the context of diabetic kidney failure are often signs of uremia, where the accumulation of toxins and waste products in the blood reaches a critical level due to the kidney's reduced ability to filter effectively. This condition can irritate the gastrointestinal system, leading to these uncomfortable symptoms. Managing nausea and vomiting involves strict blood sugar control to slow the progression of kidney damage and reduce the buildup of toxins. Dietary adjustments, including small, frequent meals and avoiding foods high in potassium, phosphorus, and sodium, can help. Recommended medications to alleviate nausea and consider dialysis to remove excess toxins from the blood might be necessary. Regular monitoring and comprehensive management of diabetes and kidney function are crucial to addressing these symptoms effectively. Number 8. Shortness of Breath Shortness of breath in the context of diabetic kidney failure, also known as diabetic nephropathy, is a critical sign that warrants attention. It often results from fluid buildup in the lungs, a condition known as pulmonary edema, due to the kidney's decreased efficiency in removing excess fluid from the body. Additionally, anemia, a common complication of kidney disease, can exacerbate this symptom by limiting oxygen delivery to tissues. Management strategies include strict control of blood sugar levels to slow the progression of kidney damage, limiting fluid and salt intake to reduce fluid retention, and possibly using diuretics as prescribed. Addressing anemia with medications such as erythropoietin stimulants or iron supplements can also improve symptoms. Regular monitoring and comprehensive management of diabetes and its complications are essential to alleviate shortness of breath and protect kidney health. Number 9. Fatigue and Weakness Fatigue and weakness in diabetic kidney failure, or diabetic nephropathy, are often due to the compounded effects of anemia and toxin accumulation. As the kidney's filtering capability diminishes, they produce less erythropoietin, leading to fewer red blood cells and decreased oxygen transport throughout the body, which results in persistent tiredness. Simultaneously, the buildup of waste products in the blood can further exacerbate feelings of fatigue and genital malaise. Managing these symptoms effectively involves meticulous control of blood sugar levels to slow kidney damage progression. Treatment may also include erythropoietin therapy to combat anemia, dietary adjustments to support kidney health, and possibly medications to manage the accumulation of toxins. Regular blood work and monitoring of kidney function are crucial for adjusting treatments and managing symptoms effectively. Number 10. Swelling or Edema Swelling or edema in diabetic kidney failure arises when the kidneys lose their ability to manage fluid balance effectively, leading to fluid retention in tissues, particularly in the legs, ankles, feet, and sometimes around the eyes. This symptom reflects the compromised filtering capacity of the kidneys, a consequence of long-term damage from high blood sugar levels. 
To manage swelling, it's crucial to maintain tight control over blood glucose to slow the progression of kidney damage. Reducing salt intake can help minimize fluid retention. Prescribed diuretics may also be used to facilitate excess fluid removal. Regular exercise to improve circulation and wearing compression stockings can further alleviate swelling. It's essential to consult healthcare providers for tailored advice and treatment adjustments, ensuring both diabetes and its kidney-related complications are effectively managed. Identifying the clues of diabetic kidney failure, such as changes in urination, swelling, cognitive difficulties, and unusual skin sensations, is pivotal for early intervention. Effective management includes strict blood sugar control, dietary adjustments, and regular health care consultations. Awareness and proactive care are key to slowing progression, preserving kidney function, and maintaining quality of life. You might also want to watch this on more critical signs of high blood sugar in diabetics. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.